So we understood the principles and the social system of Varanasham. Why Varanasham? Now we shall see how part of it. This is the practical aspect of the social system of Varanasham. You see, the whole aim was how to go back to home, back to Godhead. Not sense gratification, eat, drink, be merry, enjoy. That is not the aim of life. So everything was planned with that aim. Vishnu Raradhate. Varanashram, these Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, everyone had to strictly follow the rules and regulations of a particular division. The Brahman must act as a Brahman. A Kshatriya must act as a Kshatriya. The government should be very expert to know the aim of life, the common cause, and they should train the people to work for the common cause. Because they are not trained up, they have no common cause. The hand and the leg work differently, but the common cause is to maintain the body. Without Varanasham, there will be Varana Sankara, Varana Sankara population. The exact example of Varana Sankara is the hippies at the present moment. All over the world, not only in the western countries, but in India also. So the population Hippie population means Sankara population. So, increase of such population means Naraka, Yaiva, Naraka, Hellish, Hellish condition of life in this life, also in the next life. The population, the younger generation is so polluted, so contaminated that you cannot safely walk in the street. Anywhere the young boys, they can encircle you and rob you. You cannot say on. The police cannot help, the government cannot help. So these unwanted children, without being trained up in the Varanashram system, they become the cause of hellish life, in this life, also after death. And so this training is necessary. If you simply produce Shudras, working class, then you cannot have any happiness. That is not possible. And nowadays, democratic, if you send some Shudra to act as Kshatriya, they cannot do it. You have got practical experience. In Vietnam, what happened? Oh, the American soldiers, uh, they were simply taking intoxication, hunting after prostitutes and running from the enemy. And when they were attacked, they were running away because they are Shudras. How can they fight? They are not trained up as Kshatriyas. Hmm? Anyone who is unemployed, let him become a soldier, <laughs> but he cannot fight. That is not possible. Neither this class of men have good brain to give direction to the society. So there must be training. In this age, everyone is Shudra. So it does not matter. Everyone is born Shudra. But he should be trained up. Just like in our practical life, we see that everyone is not born a scientist or engineer or lawyer. Everyone is born innocent, child. Then he is trained up by guardians. Similarly, there should be a training how to become Brahman, how to become Kshatriya, how to become Vaishya. Mm -hmm. And this division, division, how do we divide them in different uh, uh, occupations? Like how do we dis how do, how do we divide them by which varna a person is? Oh, that is by guna. That is one another important point. Krishna says that kim karma kim akarmeti kavyo pyatr mohita kavyo very learned scholars they are also become bewildered how to specify duty to a particular person. That is not being done at the same time. Everyone is going to the school and colleges, passing their examination. But because he is not trained up according to his tendency or according to his quality, after education he is unemployed. Because he has not been trained up according to the tendency, according to the qualification. That is the basic principle of karma. Krishna has begun in this chapter, Chatur Varana Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhagasha. That is very essential, the Varanasham Dharma. 
because we must have the aim of life and as i had told you earlier brahmans are situated in the mode of goodness the kshatriyas are in the mode of passion the vaishyas are situated in the mixed mode of passion and ignorance and the shudras are situated in the ignorant mode of material nature the tendency of a particular man towards work is determined by the modes of material nature which he has acquired such symptoms of life according to different modes of material nature are described in the 18th chapter of bhagavad gita so brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra these divisions are there according to quality guna karma vibhagash by guna guna means quality and karma means actual operation of the guna as krishna says in the bhagavad gita 4.13 chatur varna maya sushtam guna karma vibhagash i have created the four social divisions according to quality and work in this material world we associate with a particular combination of the modes of nature and accordingly we mold our character and behavior and by this criterion we fit into a particular social category all men fit into these four classes each according to his guna or nature by nature one has got a particular type of work so yajna karma samudbhava guna karma karma there must be therefore the karma should be done executed according to quality the varanashram dharma a system of dividing society into four social and four spiritual orders according to people's natural quality divide the society according to quality and train people in the principle that everything belongs to god and should be used in service of god see jo and when guna is determined there is training according to that guna mhm i see everyone is born innocent as i told you then he is trained up by guardians similarly there should be a training how to become brahman how to become kshatriya how to become vaishya right now there are two things quality and work and both must be there only one is not enough not only must one get trained to acquire the qualities of a particular class but also he must be engaged in the duties prescribed for that class so both are required aha uh-huh. yes this is another important point but simply if i know this is the qualification of a brahman but there is no practical application that will not do one must pass the engineering exam and work as engineer then he is an engineer aha one has passed the law exam and is practicing in the court then he is a lawyer two things are required similarly all these varna vibhaga divisions of varna guna karma vibhagash guna means he must have the necessary quality at the same time he must work with that quality then he is chatur varna maya sushtam guna karma vibhagash not only must a brahman be qualified but he must also engage in actual brahmanical activities simply to be qualified is not enough one must engage in brahmana's duties just like if you have achieved the quality of a medical practitioner then your work shall be a medical practitioner similarly if one has acquired the quality of a brahman or vaishnav then his activities should be like that if i become krishna conscious and i work as a butcher that will not be you have to work like a vaishnav so guna karma vibhagasha you have to acquire the qualities and work like that then it is perfect you should accept a brahman a kshatriya a vaishya a shudra by the quality and by the work both just like you qualify yourself as a lawyer but you do not practice so who will call you a lawyer nobody will call but if you are qualified and if you are practicing people will go to consult you but if you do not practice simply you have passed legal examination nobody will come to you so two things are required the brahmanical qualities and work like a brahman the four classes of men according to quality they should be engaged in different types of occupation guna karma first of all guna guna means quality in the material world also practically we see if we want to work in a certain type of occupation first of all it is examined whether i have got the quality suppose if i want to work as an engineer so i must possess the quality first of all whether i can act as an engineer similarly if i want to work as a lawyer then i must have the quality qualification 
similarly different type of quality different type of qualification and then different type of work guna karma bhagasha so that requires guidance and who is the guide the father is the guide the king the government is the guide the elderly guru is the guide there must be guide guru na sasyat pita na sasyat janani na sasyat in this way so jano na sasyat na mokshat ya samupeta mrutyum did you get it yes prabhu ji so basically different people are situated in different modes of material nature according to mode there is prescribed varana and they are trained to get the qualification for that and after getting qualities they should work with those qualities according to his prescribed duties of the varana right but prabhu ji so who will say that everyone is engaged in his uh, discharging of his occupational duties good question it is the duty of the king government mm-hmm. so it is the duty of the kshatriya to see that everyone is executing his proper professional or occupational duty it should be a secular state secular state what is the meaning of a secular state secular state means the state must be very vigilant whether everyone is doing his duty so these things should be observed so similarly kshatriya's duty is also to see whether brahmanas are doing their duty brahmana a brahman's duty is to present himself an ideal human being satya shamo damo tidiksha gnana vidnana astikyam but who will see that the kshatriyas are doing their duty properly <laughs> so it is the duty of the brahmanas to see that the kshatriyas are doing nicely their duty mm-hmm. yes so similarly kshatriya kshatriya's duty is it is kshatram dujitam cha parasparartham the brahmanas will examine whether the kshatriyas are doing their duty nicely just like parashuram when he saw that all the kshatriyas have become rascals he wanted to kill them all you know that mm mm-hmm. 21 times he killed some of the kshatriyas they fled from india and they came to this side in european countries therefore origin of europeans they are kshatriyas turkey greece and other countries also kshatriya everyone is employed in his duty and if everyone is not employed it is the duty of the government to see he must be employed a brahman is employed a kshatriya is employed a vaishya is employed otherwise if they are unemployed idle brain then idle brain will be devil's worship that is happening because everyone is not employed they have discovered machine and the machine is working 100 men's work so actually 100 men are unemployed so the machine has not improved the situation it has improved the pocket of the capitalist but it has not improved the condition of the mass of people no they are unemployed therefore in the western countries because the machine and the industry therefore now they are producing from the university hippies unemployed thousands and thousands of young boys and girls uh, prabhu ji uh, sorry to interrupt just a bit different question yes can we use machines we are not against machine you can utilize machine but we should not allow others unemployed and use machine this should be the point you can use use machine that's good but not at the risk of keeping others unemployed this should be noted first thing is that everyone should be employed if you have got many men then why should you engage in machine these rascals they do not know they are taking machine and keeping so many men unemployed and the welfare department is paying them they do not know how to organize society and therefore hippies are coming out crime criminals are coming out the government is paying for becoming criminals and hippies and prostitutes and how you can be happy a society full of prostitutes hippies and criminals that is not good they are taking machine and keeping so many men unemployed so we should not allow others unemployed and use machine this should be the point aha uh-huh, i see i got that point hmm so another duty of kshatriya is that people are being educated spiritually that is kshatriya's duty or the king of a kingdom is looking over the citizens that they are properly being trained up yes 
so the government should see that everyone as he is trained up he is working according to his quality and occupational duty prabhu ji why the government or the king should do this job because varanashram is krishna's order and as a representative of government and as a representative of god the government or the king must be responsible to see that it's carried out properly the king must be representative of god therefore we offer so much honor to the king our vedic conception is chaturvarna maya srishtam guna karam vibhagasha brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra god has created this chaturvarna so it is king's duty government's duty to see that a person claiming to be brahman whether he is acting as a brahman nowadays that such supervision is not there therefore a man acting as shudra but he is claiming to be a brahman so it is the king's duty just like the king it is the government's duty to see that nobody cheats if a person without any medical qualification if he writes doctor medical practitioner he should be punished similarly if one is claiming to be a brahman he must act as a brahman if one is claiming to be kshatriya he must act as a kshatriya now what are the qualifications of brahman what are the qualifications of kshatriya they are there already in bhagavad gita so this is government's duty that you are claiming that everyone should be employed everyone should be engaged in his own occupation that is called swadharmena idanasya swadharma means the brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra by quality guna karma by quality and work so it is the duty of the government to see that a shudra is employed is engaged as shudra a vaishya is employed and is engaged as just like vaishya vaishya it is said that krushi guruksha vanijyam vaishya karma swahavajam now vaishyas they are in the share market speculating hmm there are no more vaishyas exactly industrialist industrialist means shudras so if they are shudras why they should claim as vaishyas that is government's duty to see whether you are claiming vaishya if your industry is to produce food grains agriculture give protection to cows so in india 10000 cows are being killed and the vaishyas are big 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 zamindars you see that it is the kshatriya's duty to see that one is passing as a brahman whether he is qualified why he should pass suppose he says i am medical man he must be qualified and if he says i am a medical man then he is cheating so you cannot call yourself a brahman unless you are qualified but that is going on and this cheating is been accepted therefore this varanashram dharma one must first of all accept the principles of varanashram then there is question of understanding god in order to rectify this world situation all people should be trained in krishna consciousness and act in accordance with the varanashram system the state should also see that the people are engaged in satisfying the supreme personality of godhead this is the prime duty of the state so uh, in our society this division should be there and everyone must be engaged and employed the most intelligent class of men they should be engaged in preaching reading books and instructing taking care of the deity worship temple and other class should be strong managers so that things are going nicely everyone is engaged not that eating and sleeping everyone must be engaged employed so so if one is very much adapted for eating and sleeping he should be engaged with plows you see he must be activity otherwise there must be dysentery eating and sleeping he cannot digest yes so in this way our society should be managed not that give me second insertion second third and after getting it business is finished now i am liberated let me eat and sleep this should be stopped so everywhere in each center the system should be introduced and must be practical application of varanashram at the same time this program of devotional service then it will go on very nicely but you sometimes we see that some people don't have the appetite to work they do not feel inspired that that means mismanagement management should be like propas we have no desire to take uh, to krishna consciousness but we have been taken to it by some some way or other that is management chai prabhupad yes a child does not want to go to school 
but it is the duty of the parent to send him to the school by some way or other so that is government's duty that a man should be employed according to his capacity there should be no unemployment that is very dangerous position in the society now this unemployment question is very strong all over the world they will plan that this government is not good that system is not good he is not good and he will do nothing he will personally do nothing just like the hippies they are criticizing everyone but he will not do anything it is all these descriptions are there in shrimad bhagavatam so there should be no mismanagement so in our movement the leaders must decide how every devotee and every resource is engaged properly that is leadership that is leadership the which man is fit for which work the first thing is that we should see that everyone is engaged how he should be engaged that requires leadership but the first business is to engage everyone nobody should be without engagement then it will be idle brain is devil's workshop and the devil is kamini kanchana woman and money this is devil so if you remain idle then you shall think of devil so we should see that everyone is engaged properly hare krishna everyone should be trained as vaishnav at the same time he should work in different position for management so there should be employment for women also right yes the same employment even for women the charka you see gandhi also studied this there must be women should be engaged for weaving what is called spinning spinning yes everyone should be engaged that is management so all gbc members must see that in every temple in everyone is engaged that is the meaning of leadership robert was suggesting even to the governors that open varnashram college as we are training a medical practitioner and an engineer or any particular type of line similarly there must be training school and college where a person or a boy may be educated as a brahman or a kshatriya varnashram college mm-hmm. when when should we do that varnashram college has to be established immediately where where should it be done everywhere wherever we have got our center a varnashram college should be established to train four divisions one class brahman one class kshatriya one class vaishya and one class shudra that we are proposing when we open a center we shall train everyone it doesn't matter whether he is a born in a shudra family or brahman family just like they are born in a different family other than brahman but they are now brahman because after being trained up mm-hmm. uh, prabhu ji it will be for whom whom will be trained for the public in general ha huh? yes anyone just like engineering college is open for anyone he must be ready to take up the training similarly this varnashram college he must be ready the student must be ready to take up the training age for training what should that be would it be a particular age group yes any education from childhood yes education means from childhood hare krishna kaumaram acharat pragnyo dharman bhagavatanih how would it be different from gurukul gurukul is only for small children preliminary primary and when the children are grown up they should be sent to a varanashram school or college for further developed training abro ji uh, should our children who are uh, at gurukul when they grow up uh, should they go to that varanashram college or yes yes they should go varanashram college means for grown up students college means for grown up students mm-hmm. is there a minimum age for uh, beginning such a college yes from 5 to 10 years gurukul and after 10 years they should go to the varnashram college uh, who will teach them the how we are getting so many sanyasis they should teach teaching should be done by the sanyasis just like in missionary school the fathers teaches sanyasis yes it is also brahman's engagement they will be teaching they will be all teachers oh they will be teachers yes just like dronacharya he was brahman but he was teaching military art to the pandavas general teacher class will be the brahmanas 
it doesn't matter what he is teaching but teaching perfectly teaching how to become a military man arjun's fighting was due to dronacharya he learned it from dronacharya he was a brahman but because he took the position of a teacher he taught very perfectly a brahman should be expert in every kind of knowledge if requires he will become a teacher this is a brahman so a brahman can teach how to fight yes brahman means intelligent brain so in intelligent brain one can learn anything and teach anything but a teacher must know everything because he is a teacher no everything so for example if i uh, become a teacher at varanasham say the first teacher at varanasham college then i have to also become expert at how to fight and everything else how to uh... not all of you but some of you must be must learn the art of fighting also we must train others or ourselves also for material activities everything under these divisions and they could travel around and teach others how to do that well right yes that's right he is a brahman but he is teaching how to take care of the cows and plowing it is not that uh, one teacher has to teach everything no no oh i see so a brahman teacher should become expert in a particular subject and then teach that yes um prabhu ji should the uh, boys the, the students they should live with us or yes come to the class you won't get because nobody has got any taste for such things a boarding school or boarding college would boarding school yes is this school for women also or just for men for men uh, prabhu ji what about ashramas so in this varanasham college uh, there would be uh, two divisions varana and ashram first of all varana and ashram when um, the varana is perfectly in order then ashram ashram is uh, specially meant for spiritual advancement and varana is general division it must be there in the human society or they are on the animals if varana is not there then this is a society of animals and when the varana is working perfectly then we give them ashram that is later on mhm um uh, first they should be taught a skill basically yes first of all the whole society must be divided into four varanas otherwise there will be chaotic condition that is what is the position now what is he what he has to do one does not know and there are so many unemployment but if you organize the society into varanas there will be no question of unemployment oh ji uh, generally in colleges in the west they charge some fees for going to the college what is our position no we don't charge any fees there is no question of money because the brahmanas they will teach free they require money because they have to give fat salary to these rascals but we haven't got to and even we have to feed them we produce our own grain so where is a question of taking money so therefore it is required somebody must produce food then there is no necessity of money mm-hmm. so we should encourage people young people young students to come to our college they will automatically come if you are ideal because they are being forced to poverty so when there is a question of poverty they will come room and boarding and training yes so they should be trained to rise early and so on right yes no if you keep healthy then you will naturally rise early in the morning but if you because you have lost all what is called stamina yes yes therefore sleeping is my only business sleeping means for the weak and for the strong perspiration this is the sign when a man sleeps too much he is weak in his health and the strong man will perspire these are very balera ghama and durbale raghuma ghama and guma guma means sleeping and ghama means perspiration so in our varanasham college the students that come to our college they follow the four principles four principles are essential essential but only the shudras and kshatriyas just like uh, kshatriyas they have to learn how to kill so practically they should go to the forest and kill some animal and if he likes he can eat also 
what he kills yes but not for the slaughter house those who are kshatriyas they can they are allowed sometimes to eat meat it is understood bhima bhima also eating sometimes meat bhima amongst the pandavas only bhima not others so if the kshatriyas they want to eat meat they can be allowed on particular occasions but they must go to the forest and kill the animal not that for meat eating regular slaughter houses should be maintained this is all nonsense degradation if you want to eat meat you go to the forest and the shudras they also sometimes eat meat or the chandalas but never the cow no cow the shudras they can take a goat and sacrifice before the deity goddess kali and then eat nobody should be given unrestricted freedom to eat meat or wine if one is adamant to drink wine then there is chandi puja durga puja that means restriction that means restriction under a certain condition similarly sex life marriage that is also sex life but under condition four regulative principles compulsory do you teach for example like bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam yes what about subjects like history history we simply read mahabharat history of the great men pandavas how they were fighting for the good cause how they were reigning that history and other history not this rascal history if you study that history millions of years what is that history and what you will learn from that history you learn history of the great men how they were how they ruled that is you study history of maharaj yudhishthir study the history of maharaj parikshit that is required not that simply chronological order all nonsense and big big books and making research why should you waste your time in that hmm history must be for great person that is history yes true true bro so in this varnashram college uh, is it true that there will be no need for example for teaching material history and mathematics no there is no need should there also be teaching in some particular skill or varna say for example someone was a, a kshatriya by inclination or a no inclination can be changed also if one has got little ad but we should take little advantage of the inclination mm-hmm. should there be any material subject matter taught like in gurukul yes just like material subject matter kshatriya or the brahmanas kshatriyas as they are described in the bhagavad gita what are the symptoms of brahman what is the symptom of the kshatriya the kshatriya should be taught how to fight also there will be military training there will be training how to kill oh can you say something about the training of a brahman yes they are satya shamo damo he must be truthful he must control the senses control the mind shamo damo he must be tolerant he should not be agitated in trifle matters satya shamo damo shaucham he must be always clean three times must take bath at least all the clothing all everything is clean this is brahmanical training and then he must know all what is what knowledge and practical application and form faith in krishna this is brahman would the brahmanas learn sanskrit huh not necessary just like prabhupada translated all the books similarly any book of knowledge can be translated into different languages not that one has to learn sanskrit why um what is the kshatriya training learn to kill no non violence learn to kill you will find the kshatriya a thief a rogue unwanted element in the society kill him that's all finish kill him bas finished so others will see oh the ruler is very strong and others will one killing will be lesson for many hundreds and thousands no mercy kill him that's all that was the system in kashmir about 100 years ago if somebody has stolen cut his hand bas he cannot steal anymore so one cutting hand means finish in that part of the world no more stealing what about vaishya training yes and vaishya should be trained how to give protection to the cows how to till the field and grow food practical not business also business that is rascal business no no 
business means if you have got extra grains or extra food stuff you can sell where there is necessity there is want that is business we are not going to open mills and factories and no we are not going to do that that is shudra business the real business is that you produce enough food grains as much as possible and you eat and distribute that's all this is business it does not require any high technical education anyone can till the ground and uh, grow food is it difficult this is the business the first thing is that everyone man and animal especially the cows they must be properly fed so become very stout and strong and shudra training what kind of training is there for a shudra shudra is general assistant order carrier he has no intelligence he doesn't require intelligence do this that's all what would he learn at the school though huh what would his business be at the varanasham college yes that is also training to become obedient because people are not obedient what are these hippies they are not obedient so obedience also require training if you have no intelligence if you cannot do anything independently just be obedient to others higher three classes that is shudra he must agree to abide by the orders of brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas that's all so that nobody will be unemployed everyone should be trained up to sleep 6 to 8 hours and attend meeting chant and aarti and balance time he must work hard not that sleeping unlimitedly there is no limit what class uh, does the art and crafts come under ha huh? shudra they are shudras little art and crafts can be trained up uh, to the shudras they at present moment they have given too much stress on arts and crafts therefore the whole people population is shudra those who are not able to preach or to do other things they must go to the plow department agriculture those who cannot preach yes those who are less educated not very expert in preaching they must be acting as kshatriya or vaishya or as shudra the education must have standard the first education is that they must be free from all sinful activities that is the first education according to the vedic instruction a man is supposed to be educated even from the material point of view a man is supposed to be educated when he sees every woman as a mother this is the standard of education matravat paradareshu paradravetu laushtravat atmavat sarvabhuteshu ya pashyanti sapandita pandita means educated so how one is educated how it is tested when a person takes all women except his wife as mother then he is educated when one thinks others property as garbage in the street then he is educated and when one thinks that all living entities are of the same level atma vat sarva bhuteshu then he is educated what do you propose to do with the criminals in education system how will you reform them criminals should be punished how seriously should they be punished that you have to consult shastra there is direction it is practically it is the same just like manu samhita it says that if one is a murderer then he should be killed life for life he should be hanged that is the old system the king used to kill a murderer so that is almost the same punishment i see yes similarly there should be education how to make one man spiritual so we are going to give education how to become spiritually advanced that is our purpose that is gurukul education yes because spiritually everyone is free from material bondage so materially we find one is more intelligent one is less intelligent but spiritually everyone can be equally intelligent so what about the common man if he accepts gurukul system he can also be spiritually advanced oh yes anyone anyone uh prabhu ji how do you teach a varanasham college in varanasham college if somebody comes in they say i want to be kshatriya or i want to be vaishya is it like that no 
that will be tested by the teachers what for he is fit he will be tested by the guru but prabhu ji uh, we can train anyone to become anything anything just like there is a story the tarzan tarzan um, and he was living in the society of monkeys and he learned how to jump from one tree to another <laughs> in the vedic age wouldn't everyone want to become a brahman why train someone as a shudra prabhu ji yes everyone can be and all the shudras can be made brahmans but where all the shudras are coming all the shudras are ready to become brahman how can you explain we are inviting everyone to become krishna conscious so you are saying that uh, it is possible and uh, that you can mold anyone into anything yes yes possible yes but if they don't accept if they won't accept yes yes that is karma we are ready but if they don't accept that is karma mhm i see yes so you mean that we must try to make everyone to be brahmanas yes brahmanas but not everybody will want to but as i had told you at least some brahmanas must be there to guide the society so brahma dhruva the society must be brahmanic vedic culture means to create every person a brahmana not to keep him shudra it is not a question of money but it is the question of culture brahmanical culture there must be education to become moral brahmanas are moral if there is not a class of brahman then how you can say that you become moralist if there is no example of moralist how you can ask people become moralist and the so far the brahmanical culture there must be there otherwise you cannot say that you become a moralist where is the example of moralist a section of person must be there fully moralist that ideal section is now lacking 99% may remain non brahman but this 5% if they are strongly brahmanical then others will follow ekas chandras tamohanti nachatara sahastrasha you have got millions of stars nobody cares for them but people are looking after when the moon will rise when the moon will rise that one moon is sufficient than millions of stars so this is the suggestion brahmanas so the real truth is that ideal man of character there must be because at the present moment there is no character there is no moral education therefore we have to adopt according to them no the pakka moralist he must be moralist it doesn't matter that people at the present time they do all immoral activities therefore we have to adjust no strictly one should be moralist brahman anybody can be elevated to the brahman like i said satyakama jewala story yes it doesn't matter but if he wants to be elevated he should be given chance that is the verdict of the shastras ah valmiki there were many there were are many narad narad was a son of a maid servant shudra he had no father so dasi putra and he became narad so where is the restriction similarly in jabal upanishad satyakama jabal he was also a prostitute son so immediately gautam muni accepted him as brahman you are telling the truth satya shamo dhamo because it is the first qualification so such a high culture life now we should take standard shastra and follow and establish educational institution to train them so there must be this training college institution and proper training according to the shastra uh, prabhu ji i understood that brahmanas are necessary but prabhu ji again the same problem that i had asked you earlier where do we get brahmanas if we don't have varnashram and how will varnashram come if there are no brahmanas yes krishna did not say bhagavad gita to lower class krishna said rajarshi arjun was rajarshi imam rajarshi yogadhu without being rajarshi without being highly qualified nobody can understand so therefore our krishna consciousness movement is trying to purify the people in general to the brahman stage then they will be you will be able to understand otherwise 
na shaucham na pichacharam if he is not clean he has he does not know how to behave it is difficult but chaitanya mahaprabhu is still more kind that never mind whatever you are chant hari krishna and you'll be purified this is chaitanya mahaprabhu's moment it doesn't matter whether what you are chant hari krishna and you'll be purified then you will understand everything what is god what you are what is your relation prabhuji where did chanting come into picture here well you see without being purified at least to a brahmanical level one cannot understand the science of krishna but it is very difficult to bring about the purification of society at the present age of kali becoming brahman is not easy why this instruction is strisha dushtashu when women become polluted there is unwanted population as i told you varna sankara in the name of freedom of women they are being exploited everything is there social religious political cultural educational we have to accept that course then everything will be all right if you don't accept then you have to suffer problems it is not meant for a particular class of men or particular country it is meant for the whole human society therefore this purification of the society and the present fallen condition is very very difficult to revive because people are so fallen it is almost impossible then what is the solution how will brahmanical culture be revived therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu has recommended that you all together chant hare krishna and everything will be done nicely hare naam hare naam hare naam eva kevalam kalau nasteva 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 gatiranyatha in kaliyuga it is very difficult to reform the whole human society to become perfect by this process very process it is not possible therefore chaitanya proves that you chant congregationally this hare krishna mantra never mind whatever impurities have entered it will be all cleansed so everyone is chanting in ecstasy hare krishna you have seen yes so this is the process which we are trying to introduce not anything caste system or this system no then everything will come automatically easiest process that is the ultimate goal if you can learn how to love god then you become perfect and all other things will automatically come so the brahmanical culture can be revived again by this automatically chanting and learning to love god because of the increment in demoniac population people have lost brahmanical culture nor is there kshatriya government because of the poisonous effect of kaliyuga the shastra says dasyu prayeshu rajeshu the government will adopt the policy of dasyus or plunderers thus there will be no instruction from brahmanas and even if there are brahmanical instructors there will be no kshatriya ruler who can follow them aside from satyuga even formerly in the days when demons were flourishing hiranyakashipu planned to destroy the brahmanical culture and the kshatriya government and thus create chaos all over the world although in satyuga this plan was very difficult to execute in kaliyuga which is full of shudras and demons the brahmanical culture is lost and can be revived only by chanting of the maha mantra therefore the krishna conscious movement or the hare krishna movement has been inaugurated to revive brahmanical culture very easily so that people may become happy and peaceful in this life and prepare for elevation in the next life in this regard shrila madhvacharya quotes this verse from the brahmanda puran viprayatnyadi moolam tu harir ityasuram matam harir eva hi sarvasya moolam samyan mato nrupa O king the demons think that hari lord vishnu exists because of the brahman and yagnas but factually hari is the cause of everything including the brahman and yagnas therefore through the popularizing of hari kirtan or the sankirtan movement the brahmanical culture and kshatriya government will automatically come back and people will be extremely happy did you understand that yes so by the mercy of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu uh he has inaugurated this uh, sankirtan movement and by chanting this hare krishna mahamantra we can be purified to the stage of a brahman 
and then we will be able to understand the science of krishna and we will learn to love krishna and with that the brahmanical culture will automatically come back exactly since purification by vedic method is very slow we reach the stage of brahmana by the method of hari naam sankirtan the lift process as we discussed earlier yes thus we get brahmanas yes i understood it that's why i had to tell you the philosophy behind varnashram and brahmins first yes prabhu ji with the understanding of uh, the philosophy behind i can make complete sense of it now nice i'm glad i'm glad you understood it so before we go further any questions oh prabhu ji what is the distinction between uh, culture and an education culture means human being human being just like chanakya pandit say matravat paradareshu this is culture you see every woman as mother education the modern meaning of education is rubbish to learn a b c d this is not education without culture what is the meaning of education so culture is the background for all these things yes education is required to help culture not that you take degrees from university and remain a dog that is not education here is education as chanakya pandit says matravat paradareshu paradraveshu laushtravat atmavat sarvabhuteshu ya paschanti sapandita here is a prescription of pandit first of all learn how to see other woman as your mother there the culture begins and what they are doing from the very beginning of the school college life they are learning to entice one girl that is education they are following the so called advanced countries advanced means frauds philosophy sex philosophy this is their education and how you can expect gentleman it is not possible from the very beginning there is no culture animal culture just like dogs as soon as finds another female dog he wants to have sex this is education nayam deho deh bhajan loke kashtan kaman ahrate vir bhujamye this is instruction where is culture culture is lost so therefore there is no value of education and besides that education means spiritual education brahma vidya this education to make aeroplane or nice bridge or a machine this is called kala vidya this is not vidya what is kala vidya kala means artistic suppose a carpenter he knows how to make very nice good furniture does it mean that he is educated he knows the art some artistic way that's all but he is not educated but nowadays it is going on that if you know some art technology then you are educated that is not education education means culture culture means human life otherwise dogs life there is adambitvam ahimsa shantir arjavam everything is there everything is described amanitvam first of all you have to learn how to become humble and here all people they are educated how to become proud what is education and this culture cannot be maintained unless one is god conscious arava bhaktasya kuto mahat guna there cannot be any culture for godless person that is not possible and yasyasi bhaktir bhagavatya kinchana just like this european and american boy is offering obeisance to the guru that is culture why he has learned this culture because he has become krishna conscious therefore yasyasi bhaktir bhagavatya kinchana sarvair gunas tatra samasute sarva if you make one devotee of krishna then all culture will automatically come one thing otherwise where is culture so was you steal by trick by i mean to say by legal tricks does it mean it is culture but that is going on true very true from uh, sometimes a brahman can accept the occupation of kshatriya for a certain reason right formally the brahmanas were strictly following they would not accept in the shastras it is said that the brahmanas in bad times may become a kshatriya just like dronacharya he was brahman but he became a kshatriya for a certain reason and acting like kshatriya although he was respected as brahman but he was acting as a kshatriya so it is advised that brahman may take the profession of a kshatriya and up to the vaishya but if he takes the profession of shudra then he is fallen then he is fallen 
so this cultural institution should now be introduced prabhu ji uh, if there is a dispute between two kshatriyas or uh, two administrative class people leaders so uh, who is the higher authority to resolve it who resolves the conflicts amongst leaders just like in our ordinary lives citizens they disagree they go to court so these brahmanas they are superior like said in disputes there is higher body if there is religion if there is philosophy if there is a learned section brahmanas krishna conscious people there is higher authority you have killed all these things but the system is there therefore brahmanical culture is above kshatriya culture therefore this division must be there brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra the administrators the king they are the kshatriyas but above them the brahmanas are there but because there is no brahmanical class they have all killed them therefore he says there is no authority therefore brahmanas are necessary because brahmanical culture is necessary uh, prabhu ji um, you were talking of uh, uh, some duties like you gave example of bhima he was eating meat so I, this was a bit new for me or vaishnavas allowed no eagle our symbol is also garuda big eagle yes big eagle garuda and you know garuda is not vegetarian you know that snakes he eats snakes yes he is not vegetarian so if one becomes a sincere devotee like garuda you can allow him to become non vegetarian if he cannot give it up garuda is from jeevatva or he is an expansion no he is jeevatva nitya siddha but again not everybody non vegetarian if you become a sincere devotee like garuda then you can be allowed it's not a rule no no i understand yes what would be the program that uh, we would have uh, for a man who works in the factory he is a shudra would we uh, retain him as a farmer no if he is prepared if not let him remain but we can utilize that shudra also he can remain in the factory yes but he cannot do the work of a brahman he cannot be trained as a preacher because he can help just like my legs the legs cannot do the work of brain but it can help me i am walking so leg is as important as the brain similarly shudra is as important as brahman provided he helps the moment krishna conscious that is wanted not that artificially a shudra should be working as a brahman no but everyone should be engaged in krishna consciousness that is required so what about a uh, case where um, he is a shudra and he is a vaishnav and then he is not a shudra one who is engaged in krishna service is neither brahman nor a shudra he is a devotee he is brahma bhuta brahma bhuya yakalpate apparently he looks like shudra just like we have got so many men from different quarters but we do not belong to that quarter anymore vaishnavir jati buddhi therefore anyone who takes oh here is an american vaishnav here is an indian vaishnav that is narki he is vaishnav that understanding required any engagement any engagement for krishna he is vaishnav if if he is under the guidance of his spiritual master and doing the business according to the direction he is vaishnav he is above all these but because there is management they should appear as brahman as shudra as kshatriya like that a devotee because he is working as a shudra he is not a shudra neither he is a brahman he is already in the spiritual platform but for management we have to do that one can do the shudra's work nicely let him be engaged in that way why he should imitate does a devotee working as a shudra get uh, gets the second initiation everything he will get he gets yes second initiation means recognized now he has become fully competent vaishnav just like master is teaching the servant now you give massage in this way this way but that does not mean he has become servant yes Uh, probably we can move ahead. All right.